you have to take the breath as your friend. Last night we were talking about emotions coming over you and not knowing what to do, made conflicting emotions coming over. And that's the time you have to say, I don't have to believe either side right now, I just have to get the breath back to be on my side, i.e. the side of what's skillful. That means getting to know your spots in the body, because the breath energy flows in different ways for different people. And so you want to know where are your breath channels connected, because there will be some spots in the body when you release the tension there, it has a ripple effect to the rest of the body. You will learn to know your spots where they are, so that when something comes up you can immediately go to that spot and learn how to concentrate, not by tensing up around it, which is the way people normally concentrate on things in the body, but by releasing, letting go. Being right there, but at the same time having a more expansive way of looking at it and allowing the energy to flow out in all directions. Once you've got that spot, then you've got your beachhead for dealing with these other emotions as they come up. You've probably noticed with dogs, you know, you massage down their backbone a little bit and you'll find there's one spot where they just go all bananas. Each of us has spots like that as well. And so you want, with the breath energy, you want to find the spots that are the places where the breath energy tends to congregate or it tends to get all tied up together. But if you loosen that up, everything else gets loosened too. So get to know that spot. Learn to focus on it in the right way so that way you have at least some place to go when the emotions are broiling through your head, and they've started releasing hormones into your body. Now you still may have the reaction from those hormones, your heart may be racing and other things going on, but you can have your spot where you can wait things out, and then as things begin to settle down, then you're in a much better position to sort through what's going on and see what really needs to be done, and not just go into the power of your emotion. This is one of the reasons why we practice meditation all the time, not only when we're sitting here with our eyes closed or doing walking meditation, but also as we go through the day. So you can learn how to locate that spot when you need it in different sorts of circumstances. Because otherwise you're just at the mercy of whatever feelings come up, whatever emotions come up. And we've all had experience where those things can wash us up on shore in some strange island where we really don't want to be. So you should have your island here with the breath. And no matter how much the storm is raging in the sea, you stay on the island, you're safe. When the storm passes, then you can deal with things. And in the meantime, you're not going to be doing anything that you're later going to regret. <laughs>